Oh, we'll come out snarling bulldogs through and through. It's not just the footy giving the Treasurer something to sing about. This was uh, just a perfect storm of opportunity for us. But while the government is happy with the $9.7 billion paid for the Port of Melbourne, it's furious with Canberra. The Federal Liberal Government made a promise about asset recycling and they are reneging. They are absolutely reneging. The Turnbull Government says Victoria finalised the sale too late to claim the full 15% top-up initially promised. I think there's a bit of politics between Canberra and the State Government. I think the reality is the money's there. It's been splurged by the State Government within 24 hours. Today, another 11 level crossing removal projects were put to tender. By 2018, 37 will be uh, removed or underway. Valued at roughly a billion dollars, the work includes this crossing at Essendon and the scene of the fatal 2012 train crash at Dandenong South, along with crossings at Campbellfield, Glenroy, Coburg, Brunswick, Laverton, Werribee, Williamstown and Williamstown North. Among that list, this crossing on Werribee Street, used by an average of just 23 goods trains a day. Meanwhile, the government has confirmed the port's new owners will be required to develop a workable strategy for a freight rail link within the next three years and have it implemented five years after that to help reduce the number of trucks on Melbourne's roads. $58 million was set aside for the project in 2014, but it's currently on hold. Andrew Lund, Nine News.